All right, folks, here is the second video I ever made <laughs> on YouTube. I don't know about this one. <laughs> I would have fallen asleep. <laughs> but see what you think. <laughs> I will arrange this a little bit and put it horizontal. I won't alter it at all so you can be the judge of this next video. Good morning, everyone. This is Lisa from power wheels for success um we are on a roll with our first presentation and this has to do with power wheelchairs if you are considering a power wheelchair versus a manual wheelchair um, may i strongly suggest that you check with your primary care doctor or with a therapist or get a referral so that you get the best or what's going to work for you. If you have insurance, probably the best route is through your insurance. And this is for the United States. So um, in your own countries, you'd have to figure out what you, the best route is. Um, once you get evaluated and assessed, whether the best way to go is a manual or a power wheelchair, that is the greatest thing because wheelchairs are fitted you are measured and you have to go through an assessment to see what's going to work what are your needs you know there are, technology i can tell you is growing in leaps and bounds so power wheelchairs are changing every year and they're getting better and better so you really want to uh, figure out what's going to work, what's going to fit your needs best on a daily basis. So what are you have to consider? What are your activities? What does your home look like? If you're working, you know, all those kinds of things. Can you transport the wheelchair? Do you need to get a special van for that? And, you know, you have to go through all that first. And a power wheelchair, especially because it's it's heavy, <laughs> it's a big piece of equipment. You want it really, truly to fit you. You are you are your best advocate in this sense. So if you're looking truly looking at a power wheelchair, you really want to consider uh, what your needs are. You know. Um, I went through the whole process. Uh, I was, I had to go back to therapy because I go, because of my condition, I go to physical therapy at least once or twice a year. So this last therapy session, the therapist said, all right, we need to consider a power wheelchair. And I said, why? Because the last time I had a manual wheelchair, but because of my condition and, and nerve problems, uh, a manual wheelchair just was not advisable at this time. So I got a great power wheelchair. It's, it, it was tailored to me and to my needs. So that's something you want to consider because it is a little expensive and it's a big piece of equipment that you need to take care of. Um, that is, uh, it's important to make those, those steps to make sure you're, you're going in the right direction. Uh, so any questions? Uh, any comments, any suggestions you might have, put your questions and your comments down below. All right, that's it for today. And uh, during the week, maybe I'll take you all out the, to the garden. We have a beautiful garden here, and uh, we'll do a session out there. So you can look at all the plants and the flowers. We're going into fall, and so our plants are, are beginning to wither because of the change of temperature. So take care, everyone, and remember, consult with your doctor if you're, what you're considering, either a manual or a power wheelchair. Take care. Bye-bye.